Hi everyone. Today I thought we would take a look at a vinyl box set that I picked up recently. I do collect records in addition to board games and card games, and I'm a big monster movie fan. So this is Godzilla, the Showa era soundtracks, 1954 to 1975. This is the uh, remastered soundtrack on vinyl for all of the Godzilla movies from that era. Uh, I think it's about 15 movies, as I recall. And uh, this was a little treat I got for myself a while back, but I haven't had a lot of time to uh, enjoy it lately. And here's the back, of course, with uh, some of our great favorites. King Ghidra, uh, Mecha Godzilla, Mothra over here. We got King Kong. Okay, we'll just get the side art as well. And of course the spine. And just for fun, the copyright notice on the bottom of the box. So yeah, this came out a little more than a year ago and I've, I've looked at it briefly, but still uh, only the first, I've only listened to I think the first three albums all the way through. So let's take a look because uh, all the vinyls are special colored vinyl and they look really cool. All right, so I have slid out the inner blue box from the inside of the main box here. And if we pull this lid down, we have uh, the cover art for all of the albums. Again, 15 movies here. Uh, this does include a turntable mat for your, your turntable if you want it. Now, I already have a turntable mat on my turntable, so I'm just keeping this in the box. But... Uh, still very, very cool. Uh, maybe I should swap it out. I, I actually really like this this design. I don't feel like it has as much static as my current turntable mat does, so uh, maybe I should swap these out, but pretty cool. Uh, this was the sticker that was on the original shrink wrap, which I removed, but I saved the sticker. So all 15 classic movie soundtrack collection on vinyl for the first time. Uh, what does that say? 18 LPs on 180 gram colored vinyl because a couple of the albums are double albums. Uh, artwork by so-and-so, deluxe box with magnetic flip-down album index, and the slip mat is included. Robert Samelin, it looks like, for the artwork. So yeah, I just kept that. I didn't want to throw that sticker away even though I got rid of the shrink wrap. Okay, and here is uh, a little it's not really a booklet, it's just a piece of cardboard, but it's kind of the credits for the box set. So we can just kind of see yeah, who handled this, who did the art, the mastering, and all that sort of stuff. We won't read uh, all of that, but if you want to pause it and take a closer look, feel free. And here is the front piece of artwork, which is kind of cool. We got the son of Godzilla. We have Jet Jaguar. We have, it looks like Rodan. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Now we're going to get into the actual albums. So... Uh, we'll look at these one at a time. This is the original uh, 1954 Godzilla. All right. And here, let me, let me do this so we can see it in closer look. And I'll let you see the uh, track listings. I won't read all of these, but here is what's on the album if you're interested. And let's take a look at the actual album itself. This album is presented on a black and white marbled vinyl, which looks really cool in person, but it actually doesn't photograph as well. That, that looks closer to what I see with the naked eye at that angle. And by sheer coincidence, I noticed that I'm wearing my Godzilla shirt today. Uh, I didn't even mean to do that when I, <laughs> when I sat down to record this video. But uh, yeah, the very nice black and white marble. It is very heavy, 180 gram. Godzilla Raids again, the second and final black and white Godzilla movie. And of course the, the uh, iconic shot. <laughs> that poor building gets destroyed over and over and over in these films. Uh, Godzilla Raids again. Here are our credits and track listing. Okay, and this vinyl is red. 
on Zilla Raids again. I won't take it out because I think you can see that pretty well, but a really nice red vinyl, which is beautiful. All right, Mothra versus Godzilla, one of my very favorite films in the entire series. Uh, this is another double album. But unlike the last album, these two albums are different colored vinyl. So we'll take a look right after we see the credits. Okay, disc one, sides A and B, is on this lovely blue vinyl. Kind of a teal turquoise. And the second disc is yellow, a gold LP. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. I love all the different colors. It's a very fun set for that reason alone. All right, movie five, Ghidra the Three-Headed Monster. Another of my favorites, or Ghidorah, if, uh, if you prefer. I've heard it pronounced both ways. I've always said Ghidra. Okay, only a single LP here, so let's take a look at the track listing. Okay, you can pause that as you need to. I took this one out of the sleeve just so you can hopefully see it a little better. It is actually a peach color. It looks a little yellow as I'm looking at it through the camera, but with the, the naked eye, it's kind of the same color as the label, uh, but weirdly it looks yellow through the camera, but uh, it is not. It is a kind of a peachy, peachy color. All right, here's another movie I love, Abira, Horror of the Deep. Uh, great Godzilla at sea kind of movie. Uh, takes place at his, in his little cave uh, and the crab and Mothra returning. Uh, Rodan up there, it looks like. Uh, such a fun movie. I haven't seen it in a while, but I really like this one. I think it's a little bit underrated in the grand scheme of things. So let's take a look at the track listing. All right, and over here we have the vinyl. This is also red, just like the uh, Godzilla Raids again, but this one is a deeper, or kind of a, a more fire engine, uh, fire engine red, a little bit more muted, I think, than the, uh, the more cartoony bright red of that album. All right, one of the weirder movies in the Showa era, it's Invasion of the Astro Monster. Uh, very, very fun. Love the artwork. Always happy to see King Ghidra. Uh, really fun kind of film. Very sci-fi. Aliens. Kind of a interesting departure for a lot of the other series. And it's about here where you just really start to think, how is this the same series that started in 1954 with this deep meditation on the horrors of nuclear war? And now we're with Invasion of Astro Monster. So here is the track listing. And one of my favorite looking vinyl, this is kind of a uh, blue and purple marble. So I won't take it all the way out, but I just want you to get you to see how, how beautiful that is. It looks really nice spinning around on the turntable. So Invasion of Astro Monster. And here is one of the greatest finale sequences of the Showa era. It's Destroy All Monsters. And uh, what an iconic battle uh, in this. And the artwork certainly reflects it. Just about everybody is in this film, except for Mecha Godzilla, who hasn't appeared yet. But uh, Destroy All Monsters. Here we go. All right. And this vinyl is a uh, pine green marble. So not one of the most beautiful ones, but still I love colored vinyl and marbling is always neat to see as well. So kind of blue and pine green. All right, one of the stranger Godzilla movies of this era, Godzilla versus Hydra or Hedora, depending on your preference. The great smog monster film. I really enjoy this one. It's uh, kind of out there, but uh, always, always fun to see. So. A lot of musical cues on this one. Look at all those tracks, but it's just still a single LP. You can pause that if you need to. And this vinyl is kind of a yellowish brown. It, uh, appropriately enough, looks like garbage. <laughs> so uh, pretty, pretty appropriate for this particular film. Let's see if we can get a, get a peek. 
By the way, this set came with all of these really nice thick sleeves, so I was glad to glad to see that. I usually buy these kind of padded sleeves anyway, so it was nice it was nice to see that these were included. All right, if you're a Mystery Science Theater fan, you know this one, Jet Jaguar, starring in Godzilla vs. Megalon. This movie was, I don't know if it actually was in the public domain or if it was just believed to be in the public domain, but for a while it seems like this movie was always on television and uh, always available on those cheap 3 or $4 VHS tapes that you'd find in the checkout aisle of the... Uh, the grocery store or the drug store back in the day. So this one is uh, a favorite to a lot of us, at least in the, the English dub. Wouldn't say it's a great movie, but uh, that Jet Jaguar song at the end is uh, is pretty amazing. Jet Jaguar, Jet Jaguar, Yatta the Jaguar. You can't, you can't hear you all, my boy, darling. So, very cool. We have a, a very light blue, uh, kind of a uh, robin's egg blue for the vinyl. Beautiful. Almost like Carolina blue if you're a North Carolinian like me. All right, another one, Godzilla vs. Gigan. And I uh, love the artwork on this. This is pretty cool and not a bad film either. Uh, really enjoyed this one when I saw it. It's been a few years. Uh, need to get my box set out of all the, the Godzilla movies. I do have uh, all of them on Blu-ray except for that uh, the, the new anime ones. I don't have those yet. But uh, this is on a very nice, uh, like a butter yellow kind of vinyl. This is a double LP as well. So here's the first album and then the second album. Okay, the second album is actually black. So we have a black and gold vinyl set that is black, right? Not purple or anything like that. Nope, I'm wrong. I took it out and it is not black. It is a deep, dark green, which I didn't know until I took it out of the sleeve and I could see the light shining through it. So not black after all. All right, we're into probably the most controversial film of the Showa era, which is All Monsters Attack, uh, a film that gets a lot of hate from uh, Godzilla fans because it is very definitely a kid's film. Uh, they don't even attempt to take this story seriously. It is a, a kid hero who saves the day. Um, and it's just kind of different because this film, um, apparently, it could be interpreted that it all takes place inside the main character's uh, head, that he just imagines that he's friends with all these monsters. And I kind of like it. It's, it's neat and it's different. Uh, and after 15 or so films of uh, very similar Godzilla action, it's nice to see a film that does something different. So I like this film more than a lot of people do. Uh, okay, this is a, a uh, kind of a lime green and uh, very pretty, very pretty. I like, uh, I like the look of that. Looks like pistachio color. Again, more so to my naked eye than it does looking through the camera. The camera doesn't quite get how bright that that uh, light green is. All right, Son of Godzilla. And I just noticed that these albums are not in chronological order. That was probably my fault. I probably pulled them out and then didn't put them back in in the right order. But I know Son of Godzilla came out long before this point in the Showa series. So uh, apologies for these being in the wrong order. But still uh, very cool. So Son of Godzilla, another film that isn't really loved because uh, it's cutesy and is uh, comedic, but uh, I enjoy it. There are really no Godzilla movies I don't enjoy on some level, and I can't even uh, really be sorry about that. They're just cool. So here is Son of Godzilla on lovely violet or light purple. <laughs> Right, two films left to go, and these two both feature uh, one of my favorite villains of the Showa era, Mecha Godzilla. So here is Terror of Mecha Godzilla, which uh, is one of the rare '70s Godzilla films. I tend to think of these Showa films mostly as '60s, but this one is definitely '70s, as is the next one. So let's take a look at the vinyl. 
Here is a bluish purple marble for Terror of Mecha Godzilla. And finishing out the set is Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, and Terror of Mecha Godzilla should actually have been the last film. I told you these were in the wrong order. <laughs> Gotta fix that. So, uh, but again, really enjoy the the artwork of this style. Love the Mecha Godzilla villain and character. Um, they're just so fun and neat to see. And we'll take a look at the uh, last rear cover, at least in this box, but not the last of the series because these are in the wrong order. So here is a very light gray, uh, which again, to the naked eye, looks very different than it does here uh, through the camera lens. So I wish you could see it the way I see it now, as the camera doesn't quite grasp or doesn't depict how well it pops. All right, that concludes our tour of the Godzilla Showa era soundtrack collection, 1954 through 1975. Thanks for checking out, checking it out, and I hope you enjoyed it.